Do I have a Timberland box? Or I threw that away? Yeah, I think I threw it away. You could just like exchange each one in the same box. Good evening, what's poppin'? What's good, people? I am forced to do this video. Nuh uh. I'm not in the mood to do a video right now. I actually haven't done a video for you guys in a while. You? It's my first collection video. Um. Mm, well, yeah, yeah. I've done my shoe. Well, my daughter's saying I've done uh, my watch collection a long time ago, but I haven't done any shoe collections. Um, so today I'm gonna do my boots collection. Um, in a particular to not all my boots that I own. Eventually, I want to do that. Um, but right now, I'm just gonna do like my Timberland boots. We're just leaving winter. We're about to enter, um, or we into spring right now. So. Here in North Carolina, we get some chilly days, some days are not chilly, somehow like today was hot, but the other day was cold, so you can still rock your boots if you want to. Um, so I got a decent collection. Um, so majority of all my shoes I've gotten from the Timberland outlet, um, your uh, stores like your Burlington, your Marshalls, your TJ Maxx's, um, Ross of the world. I, I haven't gotten any Ross for that type of store, and I've got a lot of them, a couple of them off for eBay, um, all for good price. Um, I ain't paying no retail nor overpriced for none of these shoes. Um, some of these shoes were slightly used. Some of the, some one of them I got from my wife, um, girlfriend at the time. Um, so yeah. So let's get it popping. I got my assistant here with me, my beautiful daughter. She's gonna hand me the shoes. Just go over them briefly. I ain't trying to make this too long for y'all. But thank you for joining. Like, comment, subscribe, share, um, do all that good stuff. It's the Average Guy YouTube channel. Let's get it. Alright, first up, um, I think I got these shoes um, from Burlington. I got these shoes a long time, man. These these boots are older than my daughter, definitely. They're definitely older than my daughter as old. So we're talking about over 10 years old or at 10 years old. Um, so these are the Timberland Boots um, Keeper. Um, as you can see right here, nice um, boot. It's kind of like a boot with the uh, dressy kind of look to it. It has that, I don't know what would you call this material right here, y'all could let me know. It's kind of rough but smooth at the same time, it has a little texture. You got that nice leather on the side here, pre-me-um, premium, because you know Tim, Tim Timberland don't play with their um, leather on their shoes, unless you get like the fake ones, but. So these are the um, Earth, the Earthquake, the Keepers. Earth Keepers. Um, I used to have the Earthquakes. Um, I kind of sold those. Uh, but as you can see, in great condition because you know boots will last you forever. You know what I mean? You know, that's what they're made for. You know, Timberland originally was made for workers um, uh, back in the days. I said probably like in the 20s or whatever. Y'all could fact check me on that. Because um, they're hard, they're rigid, they last long. You can use them on any type of terrain. Um, that kind of evolved into mountain climbing and now it's a fashionable thing, you got people up in New York. So yeah, I got another pair of this, first pair. Next pair, um, this one I got a while back, um, not that long ago. Um, this is definitely not as old as that one. I was looking online because I got like a, a search I have when some things for Tim to pop up and these came up. So it's the same one as these, but a uh, different color. All right, so you got that dark brown or black leather, that same type of grayish texture here, which is really cool. So these could look good with slacks. I usually wear these to work. Um, they go to bottoms right here. Like you can see, not that much wear to it. Um, it goes the inside, some of that. These I got used to, but in very, very, very good condition. All right, next up. So these I got a while ago too. These are also these are the Earth Keepers. Um, I, I I thought I sold this one, but they're not. They're for sale. Um, I like these, but the wifey don't. <laughs> um, she actually never. I remember I went on a date with her, like one of our first couple of dates, um, and she wasn't a fan from day one. So I made a deal with her. If I got another pair that was this color. Um, I would sell these and I was able to get another pair that's that same color. Um, so these are the Earth Keepers. Um, as you can see on the inside, all my Tims are between uh, nine and a half and 10. I like to wear them 
get them at nine and a half um, because uh, they usually run big. Um, but these are the Earth Keepers Timberland boots. Very hard at the top here. Um, this is kind of like that. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, kind of texture. Um, it's kind of like the Jordan um, AJ1 um, KOs. Um, so the knockoffs. Um, uh, so they kind of have that same texture but rougher. Um, so yeah. Next up, as you can see, I'm only showing you guys one um, shoe. I think it's all the left side. Um, I'm not gonna do like a deep review of each one because this video will be an hour long. Um, I got these around the same time. I got the first one that I showed you guys and I got these at Burlington Coat Factory. So to give you guys a little short story, my boy was at Burlington Coat Factory and hit me up. He's like, yo, I'm at Burlington Coat Factory and they got like millions exaggerating but millions of Timberlands out here for sale um, so he sent me a couple pictures went out there and caught me a whole bunch I actually regret I didn't get more because um, they had them for the low out there but these are the wheat the iconic wheat Timberland with a nice leather on the um, uh, uh, sole support here the hard top you can knock somebody out with this boy so you see these right here. Had these for a while too. I, I put money. These are older than my daughter, if not close age. Ages. I, I've been. I even went hiking with these. Um, so these are the uh, wheat Timberlands. Um, I don't know if this one has a particular name because um, it doesn't. It's not like your traditional Tims, like as you're gonna see. Um, but I don't know what the particular name of these are. Um, so these are the wheat. Timberlands. Next up, so these um, I've gotten recently um, for the wifey. Um, we actually got this here in the uh, Charlotte outlets. Um, these are the um, weatherproofs, um, specifically uh, Tim's. I really, if they had these. Um, and men, I'll probably cop for myself too. Um, but she's been wearing the Tim's uh, boots for a long time now, so she finally got hers. Um, if I'm not mistaken, these are uh, size nine and women, maybe something like that. But these Timberland boots right here, these are fire, bro. I'm not even going to lie. These are nice. These Tim boots right here, boy, boy. As you see. The Tim logo here, so it has that texture where if you scratch it, kind of leaves that uh, uh, bruise on it, if you will, uh, which I like. It gives the character. But look at the laces, y'all. The laces are really cool, right? I'm really feeling the laces. Um, I don't know if we did a lace swap with these. I'm not 100% sure, but these are brand new. Um, she wore them a couple times. She loved these, and I'm a big fan of them already as well. All right, now these are called the um, ortho little. So I guess these have some type of orthopedic in the inside to make it much comfortable to walk in because Tim's can be not comfortable to walk in after a long time. I don't know how New York people do it. Next up, um, I've gotten these on eBay. Um, barely used, um, and this is a part of what I kind of told you guys before. I told the wifey um, if, I sell the other ones, I'm going to get one to replace it with that same colorway. Um, and it's these Tim's right here, the official. So these are not the DJ Khaled ones um, that he came out with, um, but these are kind of like the original Tim's. So as you can see, it's that olive um, colorway. Official, official, I love these. These are so nice with some blue jeans, black jeans, whatever. Khakis, you, you name it. I actually want to paint my car this color eventually. I'm gonna get a wrap or something like that. But yeah, man. So these are, I think, are size 10, if I'm not mistaken. And look at the bottoms. Barely used. Dude probably, probably worn them once or twice. Um, kind of see the inside right there. Nice, man. Nice pair of shoes. Um, so yeah, so yeah, I guarantee waterproof. These are the green Tims. 
I gotten these recently, um, and it kind of mimics the colorway um, my wife has, um, her um, Tim's, and these are the uh, has the anti uh, fatigue um, insoles in there as well to kind of help with the comfort on there. Um, but these Tim's right here, fire, fire. You could wear these, you could dress these up, dress these down, wear them to work. Nice, maybe a decent casual dinner. Official, 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 man. They have these uh, green dot right here. If y'all know what this green dot means, um, I don't know if it has to do with like environmental friendly or whatever, but um, I don't know what that green dot is. It doesn't say anything. Um, but official, man. I'll see the stamp on here. Um, Y'all watch out for face, man. Then apparently there's a lot of fake Tims out there, man. So watch out, watch out for face. But yeah, there's the tab right there. Official, got the little pull tab right here. Tim Dark Browns. Next up, man, these Rojo. That's how you say red in Spanish? Rojo? I think that's how you say red in Spanish, Rojo. And uh, in French and Creole, we say rouge. My favorite color, man. My favorite color. Red Tims, man. I got these off of eBay too as well. Barely, barely worn, man. Barely worn. Um, comfortable too. I wore these a couple of times. These bloodies. These October very owns. I mean, these gang games. I mean, not, I'm not affiliated with nobody. I'm affiliated with Christ, that's it. So y'all yeah, don't come for me. But um, y'all see the uh, logo right here. It has the same uh, with the where the ankle um, support is the same color and the same leather um, with the uh, shoes. Um, it got some stuff here on the inside. Yeah, y'all can't see. Yeah, okay. If y'all y'all can freeze it and see on the inside, but um, yeah, man, these bloody reds, man. You know what I mean? Timberland all reds. Next up, so these ones, I think I got them at the outlets too. Um, brand new. Um, and these are a different style as well when it comes to like Tim. Um, but it's, it's a little bit um, higher top, if you will, than your regular Tim's. Um, I don't know if this is a, probably like a seven inch, I don't know. Um, but usually I have like the six inches, but these navy blue things, official. Official man, y'all see the emblem on here. It has the pull tab on the back to get them on because sometimes they're not that comfortable. To hey, focus, what's wrong with you? Sometimes they're not um, comfortable to put on, but these navy blue things right here. See, the the the, the bottoms are different. So your traditional Tims will have like this bottoms here, um, but these are a little bit different. Um, even like this one right here has, um, oh look, that green thing as well. I don't know if it has, has to do green rubber. So I guess these are recycled rubber. Interesting. Um, but these bottoms here are a little bit different. Um, but I like these, man. These are so clean with some navy blue jeans or whatever. These are tough. You hear me? Tough. All right, navy blue Tim's. I know I did. Next up. The wifey, the wifey, thanks to the wifey, she got me these Tims because I've always wanted me some all black Tims. And I probably wore these a couple times, but these are clean, you hear me? Clean, the all black Tims. Look at that suede, y'all. Look at, look at that. Let's see, does it do the color? Look, look at the color change, y'all. That's pre. Me um premium premium leather man uh so the ankle is kind of different y'all see the size in here it goes worse the, the little governments on the inside so yeah so she got this for the kid um i don't know where she got it at um, but I didn't care because I really wanted these uh, for the longest, man. But uh, thanks to wife, she got me the all black Timberland boots, bro. Um, so yeah. So 
My daughter doesn't have any yet, so eventually I will get one because she grows like freaking a papaya tree. She's already wearing like woman's size, so I didn't want to get her anything where she doesn't wear. She wears a couple times and that's it. So, so when I do my next update on my Tim's, definitely she'll have some. But all right, man, that's it. It's a wrap. I'm about to go eat me some spaghetti. Hope well, we y'all enjoyed the Timbaland um, shoe collection I have so far. Um, I'm gonna do some more of these collections, man. My daughter's on my butt. She's like, yo, you need to do these collections. I need to do my Converse's. I need to do my Reeboks. I need to do my Jordans. I need to do my Jordan 1's. My dress shoes. Give us an octahook. Out the package. Out the package. Out the package. But, yeah, man, so I'll be doing that for you guys pretty, pretty soon. Once again, thank you for joining this, that, and the other. Um, the average guy. Um, treat people as the way you want to be treated. I'm out. Peace. Oh, oh.